Let's go, big machine. Let's go, bro. Wow. Fuck. 1-0, schmuck. Fifteen and four, he's on an eight-fight win streak. La Machina, the machine, Marab Devolish Vili, he's a number three ranked UFC bantamweight in the flesh inside your backyard. It's fight week, UFC Vegas 71. How we doing? Doing great, Shmo. How are you? The Shmo can't complain, man. This is your first time headlining a UFC fight night. How are the feels this fight week? Feeling good. You know what I care? I all I want is beat this guy up. I don't care main event, I don't care money, I don't care nothing, I don't care weather. All I want to beat this guy up. That's all I want. This is a big time fight with Peter Yan, the number two ranked guy. But before we get into him, the last time we saw you in action, UFC 278, Salt Lake City. You retired a legend, Jose Aldo, man. When you reflect on beating Jose Aldo and being his last fight in the UFC, that's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, it was good, but because of, he he said he's going to retire because of loss, and uh, that was a little bit sad, but this is the fight game, that's what we're doing, uh, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, I know, uh, I'm, I'm one of the best, and uh, I beat Jose Aldo, and now next will be Peter Jan. Yes, so Peter Jan, man, this guy... A lot of chirping between you and him back and forth. He didn't have one but two fights with the current champion, your teammate, Aljamain Sterling. You ran into this guy in Las Vegas. There's some beef. There's some bad blood. What's that interaction like running into Peter Jan here? Hey, man, he's he's crazy guy. You know, he was champion and he don't know rules. And uh, he's just crazy. Like, he's th he still thinks he won all these fights, you know? And he lived, like, you know, like... No, he got beat up and he still thinks he lost. You know, he win. Whatever, man. He's. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try to make him humble. You know. So, let's see. The illegal knee changed the entire landscape, the history of the UFC. There's a lot of crazy things that happen, but your teammate, he's the champion. Do you think Purion won his last fight against Sugar Sean O'Malley? It was close fight. Uh, um, I mean, when I was watching, I thought Peter win, but. Uh, I understand when you live like you need fight like this close. I understand you never know when judges how they gonna score. You know, like I, I mean, like it was close fight. You know, I think Peter won, but it, it wasn't like super robbery or something. So, and then judges give other guy O'Malley. So and now just you gotta just just be shut up and uh, just be humble. <laughs> So let's talk about this beef you have with him, man. Bad blood going into fight week. You and Peter Jan, you're chirping. There's a $50,000 bet you were telling the schmo about? Yeah, man. Like, all my country and his country know we bet, like, man to man. We bet money to Anatoly Malikin, his friend. that He's actually uh, one FC double champion. And uh, me and him bet uh, right before Peter and Aljo's second fight. And he said Peter was going to win. I said, ah, no, Aljo's going to win. So we bet. And then he con he contacted me after, oh, I'm going to send you money back. And uh, he never sent me. He said, oh, sorry, because of sanctions, I'm not able to send you money. And uh, he told me after he was going to win a fight in one FC, the one FC going to send me straight. But and after he won the fight, one FC, and he said, "Oh, I forget. I'm sorry. Give send me again in your bank account. Uh, I give him again, and he's still not not sending me money. He's like, I don't know. He's not. I don't, I'm still, I'm still hoping that he's a real man. And um, but otherwise, I'm going to in Thailand, and I'm gonna look, look. I'm gonna find him. You know. Well, he's a double champ in the light heavyweight and heavyweight division over there at one FC. That's a big boy you'd have to face. You only fight at one thirty five. <laughs> Bro, it's a street fight, bro. I don't, I don't have to make weight or like do something. You know, it's a street fight, and I'm gonna. No, let's say he has to bring him money. Otherwise, I uh, you know I grew up in the streets. So and then uh, listen, this is big deal. 
So. Yes, it is. Now talk to the schmo for a second. Seven of your eight fights have been by decision. If anyone complains about you, Machine, you got the cardio for days, you go at a pace that no one else can go at, but you get the decisions. Why is it going to be different? Why are you going to finish Pewter Yan Saturday evening? Hey, I just want to finish him, you know, because uh, I, I don't like the guy. You know, I have all respect, all my less uh, ex-opponents, you know, but somehow I, I don't like this guy much, you know. That's the only guy uh, I don't... I, I have some respect. He's a good fighter, good family guy, but otherwise he's stupid, you know. He's Russian bully, you know, and... Uh, and uh, so, um, yeah, I want to just finish him. So, and uh, but it's a fight. I'm going to do my best. And um, I, I, that's all I'm looking for. And I'm looking for to knock him out. You got the most takedowns in UFC Bantamweight history. Do you feel like you have to make a statement, though, to get the title shot? Because we also have at the end of the month, we have Corey Sanhagen versus Marlon Chito Vera. That's going to be over in San Antonio. Do you feel like you have to put a more impressive performance than the winner of that fight to get your opportunity at gold in this division? Hey man, um, uh, yeah, it's a good fight, Chito Vera versus Corey Stayman. But I beat uh, Josie Aldo. Josie Aldo beat Chito Vera, and uh, if I beat Peter, Pete, Peter beat uh, Sanhagan, and uh, so they should chill, you know. They should chill, and then when they went, uh, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna after this. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. If if Aljo wants to move up, he can move up, and I will fight title. If Aljo don't wanna move, I will beat all these guys. You know, they have to fight me, not for the title. You know. Do you think Aljo, your buddy, is gonna be moving up to 145 pounds though after the Cejudo fight? Maybe after the Cejudo fight, but no, I think no. He should beat one more uh, top contender, actually number one guy, uh, O'Malley. You know, you know. So. Aljo should fight now. Aljo's fighting in May 6th, uh, Henry Sehudo. He will make him triple C. And after, he will beat number one contender, uh, O'Malley. And uh, after, if it's up to him, you know, if he wants to challenge Wokanowski, he can move up and beat him too. I mean, of course, Josie is no Wokanowski, he's a great fighter, but I think Aljo, Aljo has tools to beat him. So. But if Aljo wants to keep beating all these guys, um, Aljo already beat Sanhigan, so Chito Vera, like I said, you know, if Aljo wants, Ch Chito Vera must be easy for him too. He can, he can beat again, you know, he can beat Chito Vera too. All right, there it is. Well, you lost to the Schmo in ping pong, but you're the ladies' man, so you're the real winner. The Schmo saw the photo. How many chicks did you have around your arms over there in Jamaica? Was it four or five? And she grabbed the schlong. <laughs> Bro... Uh, it's it's funny because slang is we it's my language also we call uh we call that thing too. Hey, I'm not talking. This is this is let's keep it this one secret. You know, listen, I'm a single guy. You know, sometimes I need to love. You know, and then like you know, I just when I met this single girls, you know, I have to wrestling and do jujitsu a little bit, like a jujitsu. You know? <laughs> The schmo can get down with that, baby. You're a single guy. Ladies, bachelor machine, the Volish Vili. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't. But listen, like, I don't want to talk about this because all um, oh my girls that are dating, they complain about every time I say, like, um, when I go vacation and they see something. Okay, I, le I learned my lesson. I'm not posting any more pictures with uh, um, ladies, you know? Because yeah, like like it's not, it's it's fun, but and uh, uh, my girls complain about it. Yeah, the schmo can understand that. But listen, you get your hand raised Saturday evening, first main event. Your phone's not gonna stop ringing and buzzing all night long. I know, brother. I know. Yeah, man, I'm ready for that, and uh, I want this fight win. And uh, after, yeah, I, I can. I will answer all phones. I will, I will, I don't know, man, like, I just, I want to just win this fight, and uh, that's it, that's, that will be better than win title, you know, because this fight, it's not only fight, this is personal fight for me, for my country, you know, all my country supporting me, you know, um, you know, it's not secret, Russian, they're not treating Georgia and Ukraine good, you know, uh, and uh, 
so and like this is Russia versus Georgia and um, and, and uh, this is sport but this is uh, big 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 more than fight for me you know I'm fighting Russian guy Peter Yan so uh, it's a big a lot of responsibility for me yes indeed can we get a final message for all the machine fans out there worldwide thank you everybody for support me and uh, uh, March 11 is gonna be great fight make sure watch and uh, uh, subscribe Schmo's YouTube let's go we appreciate that it all goes down here March 11th at the Virgin Hotel here in Las Vegas, baby. Let's go. Let's go brother. Let's He's go. the pro. I'm the schmo inside your backyard. Uh, Hot tub day. Yeah, if if I don't have a fight week, I will my will must jump in. But now I'm gonna I gotta be smart. You know, usually I'm crazy, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I jump there and jump there and jump and then jump from the window. But today it's a fight week, so I'm gonna keep it smart. But maybe I should I should <laughs> oh, good way to end this thing. I like you, <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're out. Two zero smoke. Come on, machine. You got this. Three wow. zero smoke. Smells doing good. He's got one. Three and one. Three and one. Three and one. <sighs> Four one schmo. You can serve. <laughs> Machine. The pong, bro. <laughs> Fighting's your sport, not the pong. <laughs> All right, game point, Machine. All right, there it is. How is it? Big comeback time. I don't. Your turn. What's the score? Nine two. This game. This game. You get one more. It's a mulligan. It's a mulligan. One more. Eleven. We we'll play. We'll play eleven. Okay. All right. You got it. Ten two. No, ten three. Ten three. Call ten three. <laughs> Bro, you, you should you should start this one. You should. It was your turn to start. You should start. Okay, Schmo will start. Still uh, call 10-3. I'm, I'm, I'm coming over here. Too. Call 10-3. Yeah. Machine over here. Oh <laughs> Good game, Machine. What the fuck? I guess I've been training, wrestling, fighting. You've been training ping Listen, pong. The only thing on your week is yeah. Pewter Jan. Yeah, the only thing on the Schmo's week has been beating you in ping pong. Good game. I, I agree. Good, Good game. Job. Good job. Good job. <laughs>